Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, and great news, I have been re-monetized. Yay, thank you Lord Jesus. There was a 2.6 earthquake there along Lake Erie. Uh, 234 people so far have reported feeling this earthquake. And I have talked about this area and the failed rift zone throughout this area. Recently, there's been an increase of earthquakes, uh, earthquake faults, which aren't visible there in Ohio, which have become active and haven't been active since Paleozoic time, which was about 541 to 551 million years ago. But it is my opinion that because the Earth magnetic field is weakening, which one day will eventually have a complete uh, polar reversal of the magnetic field, we're starting to see an increase in earthquakes, volcanic activity, etc. This here on USGS is reports of who did report feeling the earthquake. Uh, during the last magnetic pole reversal, the continents actually moved, and as the Atlantic Ocean grows in size and the Pacific Ocean shrinks, we have the pressure that's being built up along the different ancient rift zones. Here you can see different earthquakes that have occurred out there in the Atlantic Ocean. This one here was on November 8th. This one was November 24th. Um, November 28th. Um, oops, let me go back to this one. The 13th of November. November 16th. Um, this one here was also the 16th, and then we got more down here. We got, um, the 13th, the 26th, um, this one was a 5.5 .5 on the 13th, on the 9th was a 4.9, and if I get this one to come up, this was November 12th. Nothing there's reporting as of the last week. This one here was on the 15th. So we have movement of the Atlantic Ocean spreading, putting compression on the east coast of the United States. The failed rift zone, which if you look at it again, you can see it probably extends down into this area. This is from physicsphys.org traditional we got the Greenville front and then down here is a revised version they really don't know not a lot of um, studying has been going on but you can see how this rift zone continued down and they're not really sure like I said none of these faults show up on the earth and most of these earthquakes are about three to eight miles in depth this earthquake was five kilometers in depth and that would be 3.11 miles in depth. More than 200 earthquakes have occurred in Ohio since 1776. And 15 of those have caused, they know have caused moderate to minor damage. Here on the geosurvey.ohio uh, dnr.gov paper, you can see we got different fault lines. We got the Middleburg Fault. Um, let me pull this down here and see what this, this is the Greenville, Greenville Front Tectonic Zone. And then we have the Akron Magnetic Boundary. And quite a few earthquakes have been attributed to that area. In 1991, there was a magnitude 5.0 earthquake in that location. So did you feel this earthquake? How long did it last? What did it feel like? Was it up and down, sideways motion? Did you notice anything moving in your house? Uh, how long did it last? Put your thoughts and comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.